Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, certainly too much of this this summer season. Rainfall amounts, I chose some of the higher totals within the last several hours. And generally, uh, an inch of rain uh, at the campus at URI in Coventry, and then closing in on an inch and a half, Newport, Charlestown, and out towards Block Island as well. Other communities, not as much. So it's been raining at varying intensities, obviously depending on location. But I would say another four, five, six hours before things start to shut down. But you see steady uh, heavy rain and air against along with some reduced visibility right now. Temperatures cool generally in the mid 60s in most areas, 65 in Providence. Coventry at 62, where you have about an inch of rain so far. Jamestown 66 and New Bedford now coming in at 65 degrees. Our threat tracker is elevated for the this evening for obvious reasons. Rain heavy at times, some localized urban and localized street flooding possible. Overnight tonight it's clearing out, setting up for a real nice Tuesday with sunshine and, and looking good for uh, Wednesday as well. A satellite and radar composite. Uh, the green represents the precipitation, yellow and orange colors indicating where you get some of your heavier downpours. And notice that one batch is more or less concentrated towards southeastern Mass in New Bedford right now. And you see some elements of a few isolated downpours uh, out in eastern Connecticut. So raining at various intensities. The precipitation extends offshore, so this has to come through, as well as some scattered activity associated with a cold front off to our west. So it's just two red L's on the map. Those are areas of low pressure, one and two. This is the main storm center off the uh, New Jersey coastline that'll track north and east. And then once this whole system pulls offshore, there is drier air back through the Midwest and even in uh, western Pennsylvania, upstate New York. That arrives overnight. So when you step outside tomorrow morning, the sun is back. Yet another hurricane in the Atlantic. Nigel will become a major hurricane. Uh, the good news, this does not a threat to the U.S. mainland. Look at the forecast track. It has a curling back out into the uh, North Atlantic. It may send some waves back here, though, uh, towards the end of the week. So let's bring you in real close, kind of hyper local here. We'll walk you through the next roughly 24 hours and just watch the time bar. Seven o'clock in the evening, uh, still with some rain, maybe a rumble of thunder, some isolated downpours. But notice by 10 o'clock, it becomes more scattered. And then overnight tonight, it's clearing out. The precipitation heads offshore. Here we are tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Cool, breezy and dry, upper 50s to start. By about 2 o'clock in the afternoon, mid-70s, a nice day, breezy and dry, lower humidity. The evening commute around 5, 6 o'clock looks a 1,000 times better than where we are right now. And then by 11 o'clock uh, tomorrow night, clear skies and dry, upper 50s to around 60. So nice start to the day tomorrow morning by 11 a.m. It's in the upper 60s during the afternoon hours. Sunshine, dry and comfortable around uh, 74, 75 degrees for the afternoon high. Beaches have sunshine, moderate risk of rip currents, but otherwise a sunny day. Air and water temperature nearly identical in the lower 70s. A little breezy on the bay west, which is a dry wind direction, 10 to 15 with gusts to 20 knots and unlimited visibility. All right, seven day forecast looking good for tomorrow. In fact, the rest of the week through Friday, and I would say probably most of Saturday, not bad. Our next potential system Saturday night and Sunday with a chance of rain. I mean, that's still six, seven days down the road, so check back with us. Notice temperatures most of this week, generally in the mid 70s and nights that are in the 50s. You're expecting somebody home from the evening commute, probably taking a while longer, poor visibility, some standing water on the road, so so be careful. Good news tomorrow on the way home, much better than today. Oh yeah, <laughs> much, much. Sun, sun glare is the only problem. <laughs> All right, Anthony, thank All you. Right. We have